Hey everybody, this is Ken Shikos. Today, I'll be doing my July 2014 Reptile Room. Before I start the video, I want to thank you to all my subscribers and viewers and all those kind of people who follow my channel and support me. I, I feel very blessed to have such a great fan base and subscriber, everybody that subscribes to me and likes my videos. It's helped me out a lot. I am now almost to 200 subscribers. I'm at, I think, 170 and 30 more would bring me up to 200 that would be awesome to have 200 so you guys just help me along so on with the video this is Frito my female crusty gecko who's just chilling out on the front of the glass being really awesome she lives right here it looks like she's flying <laughs> and on this 20 gallon tank vivarium setup which is very pretty looking right now um, I've had some problems with the bromeliad, so I had to kind of fiddle with that a little bit to make sure it stays healthy. But I think it'll grow back and do well. The only problem with the plant was the flower, but the rest was all good. So, And she's been doing very awesome. I've been giving her insects and her poshy. She's been eating it up very, very good. There's her dish right over there. So I'm very happy that she's become a better eater than she was when she was a baby. So... That is my crest gecko. Next, you'll see my gargoyle gecko. Okay, so the right here is my newest addition, uh, the gargoyle gecko, Comet. She's doing very, very well. As you can see, she's an awesome pet. She just sits on my hand and chills out. She's a great little gecko. Really love her a lot. She's awesome. And this is her setup right here. Just a simple critter keeper. Nice, good size cage for her at this size. I recently got a 12 by 12 by 18 tank. I think I might do a video on it. Um, that's what she'll be going into when she's adult sized. Okay. So, um, and I'll set that up like a vivarium, just like the Crested Gecko tank. She never wants to get into her cage. <laughs> okay. So that is my Gargoyle Gecko. Next, we'll be viewing my Leopard Gecko Phoenix. Okay, guys, right here is my Leopard Gecko Phoenix. He is an awesome animal. Uh, he turned four just a few days ago, and he's got a good long life still ahead of him, which is awesome. Uh, I wonder if he would show us his face. Want to say hi? There he is. So he's getting older and older. It's pretty crazy. I've already had him for four years. And my tomato frog, Elmo, turned three on the same day uh, Phoenix did, which is pretty crazy. So they're growing on me. They're my kids. Getting old. <laughs> he's not old. He's still got a good 10, 15 years left in him. And he's so healthy, I bet he'll live a very long time. And this right here. It's his 20 gallon long setup with a good bit of glare. That's always great. So, a pretty basic but very nice looking setup. Got the heat pad over here, and then there's the cool side over there. So, next I'm going to show you my tomato frog Elmo. Okay, guys, right here is my tomato frog Elmo in this awesome looking 10 gallon terrarium with a bunch of cool hides and plants. And this awesome looking gorilla on the back. I get a lot of cool uh, compliments from my family when they see that. So right here is the actual tomato frog, Elmo. Who seems to be a fan, a fan favorite. He's pretty adorable, I have to admit. Let's see if I can get a good view. There he is from the top. I think in the last reptile room video I made, I actually got him out. And let you guys kind of see see me hold him. So if you would like to be, I mean, see him a little bit more in depth, you can watch that video, or you can watch my uh, uh, newer video, my tomato frog setup video, which was a really fun video with my friend uh, setting up the terrarium. So Elmo, as you guys may know, is probably the funniest eater and the best eater. Eater, he just uh, zaps them off the ground. They have no chance. It's pretty hilarious. So that is my tomato frog. 
So next you'll see my Firebelly Toad bump. Okay, so right here is my Firebelly Toad bump. And as you can see, he's got that very beautiful, classical, orange belly. He's staring right at the camera. It's cute. Um, he is pretty chunky. Good green color. Doing very good. Uh, soon, I will be changing his enclosure to some gravel sloping down in the tank. So there's a bigger water space. And it looks a little bit nicer than the tank I have right now. So that will be good. And that will be a video as well. Okay, right here is my sister's guinea pig, Sam, who has already, after only four days of cle after cleaning his cage, he's already stunk up the cage with poop. That's how he rolls. So he's doing pretty good. We'll give him some hay. Oh, maybe, not. maybe I don't have to. What's going on, buddy? He's doing really great. He's really fun to hold. He doesn't like to get picked up, but he's okay with um, being held, which is awesome, which means he's really, really tame. So that is Sam, and he's getting a good close-up right now. He's a really good boy. <laughs> so here's my African fat tail gecko, Mocha, who looks like she's winking at us right now. I see you, cutie pie. Um, so let's get a good view of her. So as you can tell, she has grown a lot. It's kind of hard to hold this phone steady, but that's okay. Um, she's grown a lot. Um, I bought her with a with no uh, with a regrown tail without knowing. Like I, as soon as I saw her, I knew she had a regrown tail, but the people didn't tell me that after I decided to purchase her, which was a little different. But I'm willing to accept. Uh, animals that have lost tails because as you know Phoenix also my leopard gecko has also lost a tail so hello so um, she is the animal I like to basically I like to hold the most because she is so calm and uh, very easy to hold um, she had some stuck shed issues on her feet so she actually I gave her a bath and what she did, I took her out and I put her in my hand, just kind of like scooped her up. And she sat in my hand the whole time while I carefully pulled off the shed off her toes right there. There's just a little tiny piece left. And I thought that was pretty miraculous how calm a gecko can be uh, doing some when there, something very stressful is being induced on them. But she's a she's she's a trooper and she is a very tough gecko but also really nice okay everybody so that concludes my 2000 july 2014 reptile room video hope you enjoyed it thoroughly and hope you guys have a great day and i want to announce that there will be a, a new vivarium project coming on like i said earlier i'm going to be building a vivarium for my gargoyle gecko comet don't you jump off i, I know you're looking for the escape route <laughs> um and that will be a very exciting uh video series or maybe just one video and um if you guys if I, I don't know if i've said this or not but i my dream gecko is the leechiana the rachidactylus leechianus and i am starting to save up a little bit more seriously for a uh, leechy so that hopefully could be my next addition to the reptile collection. If you don't know what that is, I t I promise you it is the extreme an extremely cool gecko. Look it up. If you don't know how to spell Leechianus, just look up Leechy Gecko, and you'll see an awesome picture. And that is the type of gecko I would like to have in my collection sooner or later. So I hope you guys have a good day. And Mocha says that too, right? Winking at you again? <laughs> okay, see y'all later, Scunji Echoes.